everyone, listen up. Seriously? Sure look good. And I've already changed the oil, so that's fine. Indeed. Maintaining and customizing a motorcycle is almost as enjoyable as riding it. Though if I start tinkering with the suspension and whatnot, there'd be no end to it. There have been days I've lost track of time doing this and had to run into meetings covered in oil. It seems I'm the type of person who can fall very deep into things. I'll have to be more careful. Oh, by the way, the matter involving my ex fiance was resolved sooner than I expected. They ended up reaching out to us about a potential business arrangement, without any of the marriage talks, of course. We managed to negotiate some favorable terms, so that should put the company back on track. I could have decided to burn that bridge, but I'd prefer not to shut down a genuine attempt to compromise. It may be thanks to you that I've become so open-minded. All right, before we head out, I had a small gift for you, since you've done so much for me. It's the key to my motorcycle. I'm not going to run from my future anymore. Rather, there's no longer any need to. This motorcycle isn't meant to be an escape from my feelings. It's a dear friend that gives me the freedom to go wherever I please. Once I realized that, I felt that I absolutely had to show it to you. As our leader, I think it would be quite fitting if you had the skill to ride my dear friend here. When this is all over, let's take this motorcycle and go on a trip somewhere together. Isn't it? We'll have to start thinking about where we want to go. I look forward to the day you learn how to ride it yourself. Once we go on that trip, I imagine it'll be full of things I've still yet to see. You were the one who taught me the joy of new discoveries. I can hardly wait. The innermost power of the Empress Arcana hath 
been set free. We now bestow upon you the ultimate form of the Empress within thyself. I think we've talked enough. Today, it's my turn to show you something new. Go ahead and sit on the back. Don't worry, it's just a short drive. I even prepared a helmet for you. The weather is perfect today. The view from the Moonlight Bridge is quite a sight to see, you know. Here goes. Hold on tight. yourself. Looking forward to it. Here are my requests. Oh, yes. By all means. Well then. between us. Does 
Accepting a request? Let's hear the results. Marvelous. Is that true? this chapter.
time looking around. Please, just wait a little while longer. Even if the tree is gone, you still live on inside us. Oh, uh, you're here. Uh, you you could have woken me up. Why did you just want to admire my pretty face sleeping like a baby? Ah, upsy daisy. Uh, we, we recently closed the book on a difficult matter, so I suppose the relief has put me at ease. Uh, it's the middle of the day, but I feel awfully sleepy. Uh, while we're all here, I... I think it's time we told you. Truth is, we sent a letter to GeckoCon. We asked them to go ahead and cut the persimmon tree down. Guess the reaction I was hoping for. It was more than worth it to surprise you like that. Sorry for doing this without running it by you. When we went to visit the tree together, I met a school faculty member on my way back. He told me the administration is planning to put up a new school building where the tree currently is. It would be selfish of an old man like me to deprive those young people of new learning opportunities. Helping children reach their potential is more important than clinging on to old memories. I think our son would agree. He was a teacher, after all. Yes, we had a long talk about it, and this was the conclusion we came to. You really set an example for young people, being so considerate to old folks like us. We pray with our son in heaven that more kind souls like you will graduate from GeckoCon. Here, we'd like you to have this. It's the first fruit produced by the persimmon tree. A little rough around the edges, just like our son. My dear was the one who suggested we give it to you. Now, we 
have to cheer up and get on with our lives. We're too old to waste a single day. <laughs> if we kick the bucket while wasting our days away, I'm sure he'd laugh at us from heaven. It's hard on the parents to have such a well-respected son. Oh my, does it sound like I'm boasting? This room really is too small to practice in. Oh. But come to think of it, I guess I don't have to practice in secret anymore. Although, I don't live on the first floor here, so I might be disturbing the people downstairs. Hmm. I chose a long weapon so I could match the reach of an adult. But then I learned that long weapons are actually better suited for tall people. Shin again. Jeez, I hope I get taller soon. Oh, yeah. Where'd my milk go? <sighs> Maybe I should be drinking more milk. Hmm. It hurts my stomach sometimes, though. actually able to keep up with me on my training regimen. I'm impressed. <laughs> so, what do you think? Well, the reason I asked you to join me today is... We finally found you, Akihiko Sonata. We've had a good run up until now. Today's where it ends. Don't feel bad about screaming if you gotta. No one's coming to save you, though. These guys just don't know when to quit. There's no getting away this time. Not for you, and not for your chicken shit buddy, either. 
Not that it'd matter anyway. You guys live at the dorm nearby, don't you? Yeah, we saw some girls there. And a kid, too. Sure hope they're keeping safe. <laughs> Stay back. I'll create an opening so you can escape. If you're going after my friends, then I'll be your first obstacle. Come on, make your move. Don't you know what'll happen if a trained guy like you hits an amateur? The boxing team will be suspended and you'll be expelled. Or worse, you'll go to prison and your life will be over. Is that what you want? Huh? That is true. I can never do something like that to my supervisor. Or my boxing teammates. <laughs> but even if that's how I feel... I can't back down now. I'll carry that responsibility. And pay for it the rest of my life if I have to. I will protect what's important to me. That's why I have these fists. Ah, what the hell are you going on about? Oh. <laughs> All right, then. I'll trust my back to you. Just try not to hurt him. I'm sure you can handle that. Cocky little bastards! Looks like that does it. That was quite the challenge, considering their numbers. Are you all right? Don't ever show your face around here again. If I ever hear you're threatening my friends, you know what'll happen next. You got it. Come on, it's getting cold. Plus, someone might have called the police. Let's go to my room for now. Well, I'd like to put out some tea, but I have to take these off first. There are hand wraps, mainly for protecting my hands and wrists. Not only do these protect me, but they can affect the power of my punches depending on how I wrap them. Whether my fists deal damage or not depends on these. I guess they're like my partners in the ring. Anyways, make yourself comfortable. So, the reason I asked you to join me today, it's because I wanted you to know what I've been working on. I spent a lot of time training and gaining more experience. And I thought I'd finally reached a point where I could feel confident in my abilities. But after hearing what the appraiser said, I felt afraid. I felt anger, too, knowing that all the training I'd put myself through was meaningless. I told myself I'd face things head on, but I'm still as weak as I was before. Tell me, do you think I'm strong enough now? <laughs> You're totally right. I'm sure I'll find my answer soon enough. Everyone loses confidence in themselves from time to time. And that's when their weakness rears its ugly head. Being on the verge of grasping something, but grappling with the fear and frustration of losing everything again. It's so hard to overcome. And it's a feeling I understand all too well. I know we've pushed this crucial decision on you. And I can only imagine how hard that must be. But try not to blame Junpei and the others. <laughs> you really are strong, you know that? Anyway, as someone who is there too, I just wanted you to know. No matter what you decide, I'm still gonna do what I have to do. I've faced off against countless opponents to get where I am now. 
If I said all my training was meaningless, then that would be spitting on all of their efforts too. And that would be absolutely unacceptable. Wouldn't you agree? Sorry, I didn't mean to go on a tangent like that. Not only did I ask you to join me today, but you got dragged into my fight too. <laughs> I've got to at least pay you back for that. I'm pretty sure my special protein blend is around here somewhere. Oh, that. I was thinking of sending that back to my parents when I write them a New Year's card. We don't know how the future is going to turn out. It's better if it doesn't stay with me. <laughs> You're one unusual guy. I was thinking this during the fight earlier, but... For some reason, I feel like I can trust you to watch my back. Together, we can overcome anything. For a long time, all I cared about was having the power to protect others. And I thought being hard on myself and competing with others was the only way I was going to do that. Although, it is true that I've gotten more capable through my reckless approach. But now, there are others who fight alongside me. So I have people who I want to protect. But at the same time, I want them to be there fighting with me. In the end, it's because I have all of you that I feel like I can become even stronger. I still don't know if I'm strong or kind enough to deserve this medal. But this is my starting point, and it's something that I should keep with me. You've taught me another valuable lesson today. Now, where to put this? Yeah, I think I will. <laughs> I did it, Miki. <laughs> if you say so, I'll keep fighting like I'm up for a shot at the title belt. I may not be very good at motivating people with words, or communicating how I feel, but you can trust I'll never back down from a fight. Even if I'm battered and on the ground, I'll get back up every time. I'll never give up. That's my duty to all of you. So you can count on me. I swear I will protect you. That being said, there's still so much I owe you for. I'll be doing what I can to pay back that debt. I haven't really thanked you for all your help until now either. Ah, right. I was going to at least thank you for what you did today. Hmm. Damn. Looks like I'm out of protein powder. What else do I have? Ah, here. You can have these dumbbells. Just a minute. I'll get them ready for you. You could change the weight on these ones to match whatever your muscle strength is. In your case, I'd start with 8 kilos. No, actually, I think you can handle 10. You could also use a machine, but you gotta do some resistance training with free weights, too. Kid, that 
Thanks, kid. Bye bye. So... my request. Waiting. 
I finished my story and wanted to show it to you. I was having a lot of trouble with the ending, but I finally figured it out. After the alligator ate his friend, the bird, he cried and cried for a long time. In fact, he was so sad that he drowned in his own tears. His tears became a sparkling lake around which grew beautiful flowers and a tree that bore delicious fruit. The other animals in the forest came there often to relax, but none of them knew the alligator had created it or that he was gone. The end. That's the ending I decided on. Even though the alligator didn't find meaning in his life, the residents of the forest did. They just didn't realize it. The meaning of my life isn't something I should spend my time on. It's more about how I was able to affect others. So, for me, or you, or anyone, just simply existing gives our lives meaning. People can't survive without help from others. We all depend on one another. I don't know how to explain it, but does that make sense? I'm glad. This is the notebook I wrote my story in. I've poured my heart and soul into it. I wanted to give you this, since you shared my final moments. <sighs> my body feels lighter. I'm so grateful to have met you. It seems so insignificant, but maybe there was some meaning in it for both of us. Thank you. In the end, I'm glad that I was born. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Sun Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the Sun within thyself.
Hey, so, uh, didn't Kirijo Senpai say we shouldn't be hanging out like this? Think she'll be mad if she finds out? I kind of doubt it. But I won't deny that seeing you all does remind me of recent events. Right. Well then, why don't we just call it a wrap here? Um, Sonata Senpai, I'd like to ask for some help with this question. Oh, uh, wait, Jimpikun, I wanted to ask you. Uh, um. I think I'll take Koromaru for a walk. Hey, wait! We'll all take him on a walk when we're done. You can sit back down, Amata kun hmm? Oh, uh, <laughs> I guess you found out. I was planning on inviting you to Mitsuru Senpai. I do understand that we don't have time for chit chat, but I just wanted to spend time with everyone. Um, uh, this was actually my idea. I was the one who wanted to gather everyone. So, I'm sorry. I don't want everyone to get in trouble for my selfishness. <sighs> hey, you shouldn't be the only one that has to apologize. I feel the same way, Fuka. Thanks, Yukari-chan. It's just... when I think this might be the last... Um, in any case, I apologize for this. Let's just call it for today. <sighs> Thank you. After warning you all, I wasn't sure how to go back on it. I was actually taking a walk to mull it over. Yukari, Yamagishi, I feel the same way you do. Uh, you did say we should try to go about our lives for now. You hear that, Junpei? Let's get to it. If we're talking my life, studying's the last thing I'd be doing. Mitsuru Senpai, could you help me with this? <laughs> of course. What question did you need help with? we've been studying. Time really flies when we're all in it together. I agree. Thank you for going along with my suggestion, everyone. You think so? I hope everyone else feels the same way. By the way, I hope you haven't forgotten about taking Koromaru for a walk. Uh, of course not. Come on, everyone, let's go. That'll be it for studying, then. Everyone, make sure to give it your all on the exams.